Hey guys, I'm Tina Lou with Follow the Coin, and we're here with Whit Jackson. Uh, Whit, please introduce yourself and what you're working on these days. Uh, hi, I'm Whit Jackson. I'm a developer for a bunch of smaller and bigger projects. Uh, I'm currently working on Opal Coin, uh, Ether Party, which is an Ethereum platform, and I'm currently interning at Tether, uh, which is a Bitcoin slash Omni layer platform. So what is the difference between the three projects and um, why are they exciting to you? Uh, well, they're all basically, uh, OpalCoin is an altcoin, EtherParty is, uh, it has to do a lot more with smart contracts, I'm the co-founder of that. And Tether is also really interesting because it allows for another layer of Bitcoin and it allows for adoption to happen without people worrying about the common things like the price and all of that stuff. So I think all three of them are really good for creating more and more users of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. So we hear you're the prodigy here <laughs> in Bitcoin land and you're probably one of the youngest uh, engineers, right? So how did you get started coding and why Bitcoin and why blockchain technology? Well, I actually started out uh, seeing Dogecoin on Reddit in like November 2014, December or 2013. And I thought it was a joke at first, like I'd heard Bitcoin around, but then I actually saw people tipping each other and then I got interested. And then after a little bit, uh, I started developing on top of it and like looking through the source code and I kind of started to teach myself just through like fixing typos and stuff. And I became friends with the Dogecoin developers a little bit. Then I kind of grew out of that a little bit. Um, but the whole cryptocurrency idea is stuck and I've just been obsessed with it for the past year. So what's your favorite coin if you were to pick maybe three? <laughs> oh, that's tough. Um, I really like what uh, I really like Bitcoin. That's probably going to be the top one. Uh, let's see. I like what uh, Verycoin is doing because they're doing a lot of stuff that increases adoption, that sort of stuff. And I'm gonna just plug Opalcoin here because I really I'm developing for them. I really like what they're doing. So uh, tell, tell us what languages do you, I mean, you know, work well, with? Well, I specialize in C++, but I mean, to a certain point, I'm able to understand most languages, just the syntax and stuff. Like there's a gap between where I can actually understand the code and actually write substantial amounts of code in it. Uh, but Python and C++ are my main ones, but I can understand a lot more. How old are you exactly? Uh, I'm 15. 15? You look quite young for 15. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get that a lot. <laughs> so what's what do you think is like next for Bitcoin? What could be the killer app? And what do you think about blockchain versus Bitcoin? Well, I think, first of all, the blockchain is amazing. And I don't think you necessarily need to have Bitcoin to harness a blockchain. But I think the blockchain wouldn't exist without Bitcoin uh, because there's that incentivization. However, there are things like Hyperledger that Tom Swanson, Tim Swanson are working on, uh, that sort of stuff. Um, but the kill, I don't know if there's one killer application. I think there's so many applications we haven't discovered yet. Mm -hmm. So I think anything that really furthers the ease of use and reduces like certain fears by certain people that just looking outside of Bitcoin or what's necessary to reach critical adoption. What are your insights about working on different projects in Bitcoin at once? Is it kind of confusing? Do you see a lot of crossover? Well, um, I'm ADD, so it's hard to work on just one thing at a time. I get you, I am too. So, so uh, yeah, so I, I've i worked on, like in one day I'll work on like 10 different projects. Just like, I'll make this and be like, ooh, shiny thing, then work on this. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can focus on a lot of things at once and it's not necessarily too difficult as long as you're able to actually Push code and execute. Yeah, push code and execute. <laughs> so, what are you? Um, you know, are you one of the Bitcoin core developers at all, or do you guys help? Do you help out with some of that code effort? Uh, I'm not a core developer. I don't have like commit access or anything. But uh, I've done most of the work I do isn't directly on Bitcoin, though I do have some code in the Bitcoin core code base. But I, I like not necessarily just coins, but plat like Streamium, that sort of stuff. Things built on top of Bitcoin side chains, Omni counterparty. All of these platforms that people can build on, I think those are just a greater addition to Bitcoin than Bitcoin itself, to a point. So which do you like better, like Bitcoin, um, sidechain technology, or blockchain? Uh, I think that's hard to say because just sidechains, well, there is a very preliminary release right now, 
I think it's harder to say I'm all for side chains when we don't even know exactly what they're able to do yet and know the powers. So I think it's a bit too early to tell. I think side chains are essential to actually testing Bitcoin stuff without necessarily creating an alt chain. Mm. But at the same time, I think you can't have side chains without a blockchain. So Makes sense. it's not really an either or in my opinion. So if somebody wanted to go and code in either Bitcoin or blockchain or side chains, where would you point them? Wow, uh, <laughs> I, I think one of the great things about Bitcoin itself is there are so many different platforms and APIs. I don't think there's any one language or one place to start. I mean, there's companies like Gem, there's blockchain.info. All these companies are providing APIs that allow you to build on top of Bitcoin. So, but if you're developing something on Bitcoin, I think a lot of times just straight Bitcoin core code, that's fine. And sometimes you'll need to go a level higher, do, do payment channels, do Omni, do Counterparty. So I think it depends on what you're building. Awesome. Well, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Great. Keep up with the good yeah. work. Thanks. Bye, guys. <laughs>